Before we start this video, I wanna ask you something. For the same 250cc engine, which one do you prefer? 2 cylinders or 4 cylinders? And if you still can't decide, let's figure it out which one is better. Welcome brothers to our channel Motorcycle Trend. So today we gonna talk about comparison between Yamaha YZF R3 and Kawasaki ZX25R. Is Yamaha YZF R3 is enough to be rival of Kawasaki ZX25R? First, let's talk about the looks of this bike. First, about the framework, Yamaha YZF equipped with aluminum delta box, while Kawasaki ZX25R equipped with high tensile steel trails. Next, for the suspension, YZF R3 using front suspension upside down telescopic fork type, and in the rear using monocross swing arm while ZX25R using upside down SFF BP. BP means big piston and for the rear it using monoshock horizontal backlink with swing arm shape like banana. banana. For the lightning feature, both of this bike already equipped with LED lightning feature. Next, for the engine, Yamaha YZF R3 pinned with 325cc 4 valve DOHC engine, 2 cylinders with liquid coolant. It's much different with Kawasaki ZX25R, which pinned with 249cc 16 valve DOHC engine, 4 cylinders and of course liquid coolant. For the maximum power, YZF R3 hit 42 horsepower at 10,000 rpm and maximum torque 29.6 newton meters at 9,000 rpm. The maximum power and torque of ZX25 are still confidential, but Approximately, it will reach up to 60 horsepower and maximum torque up to 45 newton meters. So, if you wondering how the sound of these two motorbike, here is the sound of both motorbike. By the way, Kawasaki ZX25R already equipped with update feature such as quick shifter, riding mode, and traction control system. And we hope we will find this feature also in the next Yamaha YZF R3. So that's all brothers about comparison between Yamaha YZF R3 and Kawasaki ZX25R you decide which one is better hope you enjoy this video see you soon